understand this, but Walt Disney World, okay, that's Walt Disney World and Disneyland have a very sportsmanlike bet about the NBA Finals. If the Orlando Magic win, the president of Disneyland has to march down Main Street wearing blue and silver mouse ears, okay, in a bikini. <laughs> no, no, not no. in a bikini. <laughs> really great. Yeah. If the Lakers win, Disney World's president will have to do the same in purple and gold ears. Okay. Now, I'm going to see if I can convince them to add the bikini clause to all of that. <laughs> because I think if you really... Or Speedo. Or Speedo. Or speedo. But I think they should be covered on the top. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. And congratulations to Roger Federer, who yeah. beat Robin Soderling <laughs> at the French Open yesterday. And they were very gracious. Both gentlemen were gracious. You know, uh, he said he knew Federer would win. You know, a lot more sportsmanlike than certain stars, like recently, I'll say recently, LeBron James, who stomped off the court recently after his team lost in the playoffs. He was very upset and he split. Yeah. So, you know. Did he say anything or did he just walk he off? He said nothing no. to the press. Not that he day. Nothing. He made he a statement left. after yeah. that essentially. Uh, wait, what is it? He said it's hard for me to congratulate somebody after you just lose to them. I mean, yeah. I'm a winner. Well, not that, then. He wasn't that's not but. being a poor sport or anything like that. Somebody beat you up, you're not going to congratulate them on beating you up. I'm a competitor. That's what I do. It don't make sense for me to go up and shake somebody's hand. That's what he said. Well, you know, he would, this is a guy who's been in the spotlight since his junior year in high school, right? And he's had to deal with all, all the pressure. And the, the stakes are incredibly high. And I think there's nothing more moving than seeing, like, that photo we saw from the tennis match of two, two people engaged in competition at the end looking over and say, job well done. And I think that that's a beautiful thing. At first, I thought he left for safety reasons. You know, I thought maybe because of the intensity and fans, he left. But he would have been better served to speak with the media after and maybe. reach out a hand because there are tons of tons of people watching. And maybe he would have. But, know. you know, who's to say? Because, well, I, I know that there are times when you're so pumped up mm -hmm. that you... You know, on the spur of the moment, you just go. I mean, or we've seen people say stuff when they're mad and they come back and they say, you know, that's not actually what I meant. No. I was just mad. So sometimes if but you, you know, know yourself well enough, yeah. it might have been a better idea for him not to talk to anybody. So <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting here replaying him going, like yeah, they it. won. It's not as though he made it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, can, I, can I say this one? When Carmelo Anthony lost. I'm sure he was <laughs> devastated. He didn't look happy when he hugged Kobe Bryant. No, it just, but it shows uh, it's just when, a grace you, and a hospitality we, and the millions of we don't dollars that you're being five paid. Or six, we don't have five or six of these with LeBron James doing that. This was an off night for him. As he sure. said, I made a mistake. I did something. I just how I did it. I think, I'm just I saying it happens that way. I'll just He didn't say he made a mistake, but I will say this. I spent 20 years of my life on a team, okay? I played right up through college, BC Division One softball, okay? I, right. I wasn't that good, but You're I was on the team. You're such a jock, you know? And that? I am. But I would say that there is something to be said for, no matter how high the stakes are, money or not, and watching over and looking at the person you're in competition with, and it, it sort of creates, it keeps the game innocent enough and a pure sport rather than it getting into a vicious scene. And I think that him leaving well, you know just sent the wrong in, message, even if he didn't intend it. I believe in faking it for various <laughs> things, but seriously, <laughs> I do believe in that. And if you are, if you are ticked off, if you are really ticked off, because I have been in a position where I'm ticked off about something, you should really be able to fake it. Sometimes and also, you can. Sometimes you can. And, and all I'm saying is those of us who have made this mistake know how easy it is to, to because you're in that heightened state or you're thinking something else, you just split. And I, I'm going to give him a little bit of a have slack. Have you been here? He's never. But because I don't, have another, I don't have yeah. another report of LeBron James being unsportsmanlike. Okay. I don't what have another report of <laughs> doing that. But also, too, I, I would just like to say, even being in a heightened state, you can lose graciously because I know when, I was, watch when I was watching the WWE Raw and MVP was playing Coffee Kingston and he lost the U.S. Uh, title, he handed over his belt graciously. He bawled and he walked out of the yeah. ring with his well, fine you know, yeah. 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 He was very gracious. Well, I I'm not always so gracious. I'm not going to lie. You know, there is no halo on my head. Sometimes when I have lost stuff that I felt I should have won, you know, and I know I have to behave and yeah. be the perfect person, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to be perfect, but I'm trying. <laughs> You're so close. Thank you. And when we come back, we'll be totally back. That's what we come back, we'll be back. So you go, we'll come back. And we'll be back. Now, some New York.
York schools have started an incentive program that pays students for good grades, and it looks like it's working. Test scores are up almost 40%. <laughs> Now, is there anything wrong with that? I mean, Not it's today. an incentive. I think I it's a great idea. I was a teacher. You need to pay these kids. But then, because they do not want to do all the boring stuff. But if you give them... Look, I work for money. It motivates me to get up in the morning. Why shouldn't you pay them? It's a great I idea. I just wonder if it's because... Now pay the teachers to come to work. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I remember when I used to ask, how come my parents... How come you don't give me an allowance to, you know, clean up my room? And my mother said, I'm not giving you money for stuff you're supposed to do. But I just wonder if it sets up any kind of precedent where, where now they're going to be they're going to go into a higher education college or whatever, and now they're looking for money in order to do these things. Well, there are things like here, here's what I th I think this is a great program. It was started by an economist, Roland Fryer, out of Harvard, and I think it's obviously working. If the grades are up forty percent mm -hmm. and they're doing better, I think that Joy, as you kind of alluded to, you have positions on, in business where people operate better with incentive. It's yep. just human nature. I think what could maybe better suit these kids is maybe in a, either in addition or to supplement this maybe. Maybe some of that money is actually put towards scholarship. So they're actually earning scholarship money to go to that higher education rather than just cold, hard cash. Yeah, because then you're talking that. about postponing gratification. It's very no, hard I'm saying, for I'm saying maybe supplement with it so they do get the cash, but also Something maybe else. there's a match. Maybe they could work a program where you get this in cash, and then the re what you make in the cash is then matched in a scholarship fund. And that's I think good. that I could like be that. a 401k. Yes, I like well, that. not right now, but... <laughs> But you can I also say, I'm going to give you $10, let's say 10, arbitrary. Five you keep and five we're going to give to uh, children, uh, homeless children or children in Africa. UNICEF, something like that. Maybe the kids then can learn to be charitable as well as ambitious. Yeah, I mean, there's a way. There are ways that this program can be developed and worked. I think it's a yeah. great incentive Who's program. Paying, who, where's the money coming from, though? I don't know. Maybe this guy Roland is for, forking it over. I don't know who. Lindbergh I don't know where can the afford money. to do City? it himself. He's I don't. You know, I think well. it's a great thing. I think it's a nice way to get kids <laughs> excited about cash. school again. But I. Ever. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Do you like it? Would you? Would you, you have agree? wanted to get I, you know, paid for look, grades? I get. I got paid to lose weight. You know. Me too. Uh, and but it is. But yeah. if you. you but if you. Yeah. Say Sorry, it again. Did you keep the weight off once the money stopped? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kept half off. That's that's like my theory. <laughs> half to charity. Half to <laughs> half to me. <laughs> But if you're going to pay them the responsibilities, you have to sort of build up responsibilities with that. You know, you have to, you have to, you know, you're talking about teaching kids and charitable things that they could do. But, you know, we know that we are responsible to do certain things. It's not just keep the weight off, but we then have to make appearances. We have to talk to people. We have to do all kinds of things. So this should become part of if you're going to pay someone to do a job, which now you're making yeah. school a job, which it is. And kids have been bitching for years. How come I don't get paid? I was right. here eight hours a day. Sure. Well, and, part, and adults would say, well, because this is for your education. Adults weren't always right. What do you think, right. think about the problem of competitiveness amongst the children, though? That that could get a little hairy. Right. What the, well, what it happens to get more hairy than the other? The I don't world know. Is is competitive. Where well, they're yes. going to get a huge slap yeah. in the face when they get out into the workplace, if so lucky, especially right now in this economy. Let's they need better. to understand the that improving. the yeah. Haven't you heard? No, but the competition is there regardless. Yeah. Okay, yes. so you yeah. need to. I think we need to yeah. instill healthy competition because it can be healthy. Hey, did you know that? I'm sorry that Denise Richards at once benefit with Frank. Friends. Uh, she wants to take lovers, and we had uh, Angelina Jolie oh, yeah. on also, yeah. who said the same thing. Uh, does that seem like sort of arcane old language? I'm going yeah. to take a lover. I've, Angelina I've, said that I'm yeah. taking. <laughs> that was a <laughs> Brad. That was that was yeah, BB. But, but but Denise Richards just said the same thing. She they're going to take a lover. That's the new thing that you do when you when you're divorced. You take you say I'm going to take a lover. Well, if that's, you know, you can either take one before you get married, okay. you can take one after you get divorced. Some people uh, have done it while they were married. You just never that's know. That's usually the yes. implication. Well, that's a, yeah. it's a pain, but I thought it was lover. interesting. I, I like the taking. idea of taking lovers taking. and giving them back when they're not good. <laughs> um, Elizabeth. Uh, let's talk about the giving aspect. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so you guys know... Just a couple weeks away, and PhotoWow.com can turn family photos into big art on canvas, similar to the ones you see here. Good see, aren't God. those cool? Um, everyone in our audience, That's by great. the way, is getting a $100 gift that. card to PhotoWow.com. <laughs> cool. We will be right back with Francis.
Francis Ford Coppola.